The primary anxiety is how to structure a licensing deal or to migrate from one country to another in a way that you minimize taxes. But there is a constraint. The constraint is that uh, the company is, must comply with uh, not only IP rules in different jurisdictions and to protect the IP in different jurisdictions, but there are also tax implications on the revenue and the income that is uh, recognized. So uh, there are several uh, nodal points. So sources of anxiety. One is at what stage of development uh, should the IP be migrated? And I think there is a general consensus that migration, once the technology has been launched and is recognizing revenue, is uh, not a good idea. It's too late because it affects the value of the property. And there is a third model, which is the licensing, in which the, uh, the source of the, or the owner of the property uh, does a non-exclusive uh, license for affiliates. Now, uh, this model is, uh, has many advantages over the two that I described previously, because it's scalable. You can do, uh, you can license, for example, UK entity can license to different regions, to continental Europe, to the Americas, to Asia Pacific, uh, etc. So it's exclusive in a sense that uh, different uh, entities have rights to use and exploit that and commercialize the property or the portfolio of properties and the respective uh, jurisdiction, but it's exclusive with respect to their to the markets. So that is a third model. It's the one that I have preferences for.